weekend. Toy Hunt is here. We're gonna go in and see what we can find here. Excited this weekend. So we're gonna find some good stuff. Uh, looking for some McFarlane. You got Two Faces Batman. Still looking for Batgirl and that Barbarian Wave Page Puncher. And then the Blue Beetle at, you guessed it, Target. But let's go in here and let's get started. Let the toy hunting begin. Another wonderful Saturday morning. Uh, a bunch of Transformers here. Not sure if any of it's new or not, but they got a bunch, that's for sure. What is this up here? Oh, that does a Ninja Turtle. That's a Transformer. Uh, Grimlock, cool. I always enjoyed the Dinobots when I was a kid. They've changed a little bit. Let's see. You got some big turtles there. Raph and Leo are the new ones. And then the retros, you got Leo and... Michelangelo. They're still in all nineteen dollars here. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Um. We don't happen to have Rat King yet, do we? Baxter's. Baxter on Wingnut. Genghis there. Got some pizza tossers. This guy talks, I think. Well, he's supposed to talk. Oh, pull remove to try me. Are you guys pumped? Yeah! Oh, thought I heard his arm for a second. I was going to say, sorry, dude. Uh, da, 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 da. So, any other YouTube content creators who film in Walmarts, are your Walmarts doing that new sensory, not free, or sensory sensitive whatever they call it shopping hours now is any other toy hunter stoked about that because now the music doesn't play very loud so there shouldn't be any chance of getting copyright hits <laughs> roar for me okay so i can even knock the box over or something now you can tell that the 12 inch batman which we'll see down here in a second i assume had to be more popular than that thing because all the batteries were dead in that these things still work. Oh, I got that 12 inch Batman on clearance the other day. I'll point to it whenever I see it down here. But um, it didn't work in the store. It changes batteries, works perfect. Got the Wolverine claws here. I see everything over there. X Men role play. That's the mask. X Men 4 inch. They haven't got them yet. These are still just Wolverines, I assume. Oh, man. Got to get that Sentinel. Uh, what we got up here? A cyclone. Is that Kingdom Come Batman? Yep. Found a Keaton here last week, ladies and gentlemen. That was wonderful. Hey, they got Supergirl. They did have Supergirl. So they had the whole wave of the Flash last week, but I'd say that's definitely been wiped out. They also got the gold labels. They don't have clearance tags on it. It's got a regular price of twelve fifty. There's Dark Flash and Flash. We'll dig through that in a second. This is the Batman that I got. Mine was doing that same thing. But took him home, changed his batteries, and they use watch batteries. Like three of those little circle, silver circle batteries. Oh, that's not the right peg. Man, they've got McFarlane cut down to two pegs here. 1950 for the Batwing. I'm hoping to find out a little bit cheaper today. Anyway, let's put Supergirl back up here. What else we got up here? Adam Smasher. Stacks and stacks of the old... Um, I went blank. Superpowers line. Alright. Let's take a look. I can't believe these hit clearance so fast. I put this on Instagram. Someone made a comment about the distribution being behind. Is why they put them in clearance so fast. Well... If that's the case, then where's the next wave? If these were behind, and they have to get them off shelves quickly because they're behind, the next wave of Walmart exclusive McFarlane should be right behind them, shouldn't it? I mean, I don't know, just posing the question. Uh, what have we got here? Shazam back in there, got another Kingdom Come, a Duke Thomas, Raven, Raven, Gladiator, Batman. Dark Detective, another Kingdom Come, 
And then we got Robin. These things look great. I can't wait to find Batgirl on these. And then another Gladiator. That's also a very good figure. And another Gladiator Batman. Or not Gladiator, but Conan Batman. Well. Not a whole lot going on in McFarlane. I was really hoping that little sucker right there would be cheaper. Looks like I'm going to buy it on his first clearance price. It's going to be Kingsport. I don't know. We'll see. Crusader Vetsmobile. Um, I think I got the Keaton Batman in that thing. It's a dark flash. Oh, I miss anything down through here, guys. Let's take a, I'm going to take a look at this thing. I mean, it doesn't feel... It's actually kind of hard plastic. For 12 bucks. I bet there's no way that would fit on me. Anybody around? Yeah? Huh. I don't know. It might. <laughs> We're not going to show that on camera. All right. And again, still can't believe that. I will say though, those figures did show up in droves when they did show hit my areas. And I saw on Facebook, everybody else is the same way. It's like they got two or three cases each of them. So maybe distribution was behind. The stores got flooded with them. They were just trying to get them off the shelf quickly. But you know, you got that. And then to keep going on the same thing, those hit like two weeks ago in my area, maybe three. They're already clearanced out. That right there has been on the shelves in Walmart for. I don't know, six, eight months, no clearance. These have been on the shelf here at this Walmart since I've been coming to this Walmart to hunt. No clearance. There were some others. I mean, you're just now seeing like John Kent and King Shazam go clearance. They've been on the pegs forever, so. I think if they got stuff that they're behind on, they try to get rid of the old stock quicker to get the new stuff in to get it caught back up. And they got the clearance on the D&D figs, too. That guy down there, I don't know if it's still on there, but if anybody uses Ibotta, there was a $5 off coupon on that Batman Adventures Batman. Let's just take a look at it. I don't know if it's still on there or not. I don't know if I need this or not. The Batman looks all right, not great. No light up features or anything, but... Kind of get a Bale Batman vibe from him in the suit, except for the head. Now that three pack there will be a pickup at some point. But again, we're gonna try to play the long game. Most of the time, Spin Master stuff hits clearance eventually. All right, what else we got? Commissioner Foley, likes the Bliss. Luke and Grogu. What else we got? Micro Galaxy Squadron. What is that thing? I can't pronounce that. Starfighter. I can't get that part out. They don't have the AT-AT, -AT, do they? I had that thing last week, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I see some new superstars down there. That's cool. I don't see the ad ad. I'm pretty sure this place had it last week. It might not. I can't remember. Anyways. Uh, what else we got down through here? Got these plushies. It looks just like the Undertaker. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Oh, they got Hogan. Macho. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh. Before I forget, I've been forgetting to do this lately and having to scramble to get thumbnail pictures. Uh, oh, they got Moss Man. This thing is terribly overpriced, but it is also terribly cool. As I picked him up last weekend in Kingsport. You got any more of him? Nope, just one. And they got the Rey Mysterio. I like this Ray, the Eddie Guerrero that's out. Man, I've, I'm tempted to buy Eddie. I loved Eddie Guerrero. 
So I remember watching him back on WCW Saturday night before he kind of hit his big popular streak there in WCW wrestling, you know, like Dean Malenko and Chris Jericho and all that stuff. Oh, great matches. Now, this one's different. I haven't seen Typhoon. Oh, they got The Rock, too. They got some new versions of these. Oh, Mr. T. Oh, they got Macho Man. We find Macho Man, guys. That might have to be a purchase. Rock and Typhoon, I can probably pass on. Macho Man, oh man, I don't know if I can pass on that. I got the Ultimate Warrior on clearance for five bucks. That was a cool little figure. I had fun making this short. I put out him. And uh, all the new Joes are gone. Still got the same retro cards. Lady J, I think at the end of time, Lady J will still be on the pegs and still be $24.97. I did see Lady J on clearance yesterday. At a, I can't remember which Walmart I was in. Guess what the clearance price was, everyone? Can you guess what they marked these things down to? They were in the clearance aisle with a clearance sticker for twenty-four ninety-seven. How about that? Eh? Eh? Oh, I just noticed something. Look at this: GI Joe Snake Eyes, GI Joe Crimson Guard. They're getting the stickers ready. I bet these will be clearance pretty soon. They got the stickers up for that retro card snake eyes and the crimson guard is coming. I will pick those up. One thing I will say with these I don't like are the cards. These things roll in time. Like the cardboard's too thin. There's a bunch of Mario figures, Kamek and Cat Mario and stuff. That kind of irritates me on those Joe figures. I like to keep stuff in box, you know, for the most part. But most of those retro card ones, I tear them open just because the card, I don't have any kind of protectors. I've put it, kept them out of light. I've kept them, you know, very regulated temperature or whatever. And the thing still does it. All right, let's head over here. Let's see what we got in the world of die cast. Anything on these back end caps? And we made glance at Lego. I've already rambled on for 12 minutes. I don't want this to be a five hour video. Oh, uh, looks like they stocked some. Let's kind of do an overview at first and let's dive in. Go Speed Racer. Mm. I gotta say that right there. I'll probably get that at some point. I like those things. I'm trying to think of a place where I've got the new man cave or where I can put some of those little die casts. I have an idea. If I get it set up like that, you'll be seeing me buy a lot more of those little M2 kits. What do we got in this? Is Fast and the Furious? Looks like there's a Star Wars ship. Republic gunship. That was a cool looking Lego set. Man, they got a butt down those little skateboards. I don't know those being here. Ah, oh, these things are cool. One of my Instagram followers kind of got online and found the track that goes with them. I'm trying to think where he found it at. Maybe in Target. Those are kind of neat. I may end up getting some of those, getting that little kit. Oh, I might have to buy that one. I might have just broke it. Right. Sorry, Raph. The little garbage truck thing there. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to scan to see if they might have that turtles thing here i don't see it okay let's move on here we're rambling and take you too much time we still got a lot of stores to hit that's pretty cool let's go let's go come on come on now these things have hit stores again i've got i picked up the spider-man one i bought the number one in this series is not this card but the bottom of the bubble was off the card i didn't notice it when i got the first set so i did get me another spider-man yesterday to replace the bad bubble on the other, which means I will open the other one now. All right, everybody, I'm gonna walk down Lego. If I see anything, I will film it for you, and then we'll check collectors. Again, I find anything in either. You will see it. If I don't see anything, then I will see everyone at Target. Ah, here we are. Oh man, my foot is itching. Ah, there we go. Good thing about flip-flops take your foot off or shoe off i can't take my foot off uh, i should probably edit this out yeah let's leave it in let's go in target let's see what they got all right let's look at some luggage here 
Okay, so we're going to start back here because their clearance end caps extend down this far. I just want to see what they got. Hmm. Nothing appealing to the men collects. This whole aisle here was clearance a while back. They changed it back out now to the younger young and stiff. Oh, what's this? What is this? A 3D puzzle kit. What's it made out of? Is it paper? Huh, that's kind of neat. I haven't seen these before. I got Star Wars, Harry Potter. Hmm, pretty cool. 20 bucks. My brother got me a Titanic ship foldable model like that thing was huge had LED lights and everything in it I got it for my birthday one year I never had the heart to tell him when I was trying to move man something fell on it it was crushed that thing it sucked I tried to fix it but where it was paper it bent it too much oh look at the boot eight fifteen a hundred and sixty bucks mm. this little thing is cool I've got it construction crane oh cool changes lights uh, nothing too exciting going on here let's get down here to the action figures ones there see what we got pound puppies oh man pound puppies i was into that crap big time when i was a kid uh, they got a rock there, the WWE title belt. I saw that in the wrestling aisle. But we need to go see what they got on this one. Oh, they saw they had a blue peel, just not the not the gold label. I'm just scanning real quick, guys. Okay, I don't see it at first glance. Let's just go in here and take a look at everything. What we got here this morning? Got some transformers. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's Soundwave. They always make Soundwave look awesome. Like a stealth bomber or something there. That's pretty cool too. Swindle. Starscream. Megatron. Battlemode Beetle still got... I can't believe they don't have these things clear. That's, that, that should be clearance. I'm sorry. Hello, Ant-Man. Hmm. I gotta say, I was, I'm not saying that stupid saying, but I didn't realize that Brother Love was Batman. <laughs> There's Scarlet Spider hanging out. All right, I see some Blue Beetle figures down here. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same ones they had the other night. Battle mode. What is that one? Yep, they're all the movie figs. What does everybody think about this movie? Think it's gonna be good, bad, ugly? The figures look kinda of cool. I always kinda of like the Blue Beetle character back in the day. Not gonna lie. Don't know how they'll change it for them. It's a far cry from his classic cop costume. Kind of they're doing like an Iron Man, Spider Man kind of thing, Iron Spider kind of thing. But we'll see when the movie comes out. Care packs, all they got big figs. Yeah, they got two of him. We got the Beetle mask, the Wolverine '97 mask, kind of fits me. I wonder. Oh, I think Beetle fits better than that one. Shipwreck, Copperhead. This one I can't decide on, guys. If I want to get it or not. I like the character, but some of the reviews I've seen of him haven't been that. That's a cool picture, kind of. I got like a Bane from Dark Knight Rises vibe from that. Now the X Team X Jet. What's behind this Power Ranger? More of them. I got Ben Riley Spider Man there. I think, oh, they do have some more of them still. Uh, Cyclops and the X-Men figures is all they've got left. Well, like this time they got Storm, so they got the X-Jet. Guys, we finally conquered something in this store. It's been a long time 
since I have ran into that pole. My left shoulder has had bruises on it several times from hitting that stinking thing when I come down through here at full blast, not paying any attention. Whoa, look at this. Sonic Prime. I haven't seen these. That's pretty cool. I got Eggman. Mr. Dr. Eggman. <laughs> it's on it prime Netflix, yeah, okay. Uh, Luke has watched that some on Netflix. And there's a new Mario figures. I'm gonna get that at some point. I also need to buy Bowser at some point. There's Sonic Prime plushie. Oh, let's take a look here. Kind of cool, some Sonic stuff. Oh, they got that new Bowser set too. I think this thing's cool. Who does it come with? Does it come with a figure? That airship right there. I wish I would have got that. And then Bowser's Castle. That's just cool. I wonder what it does when you hit the axe. Oh, it does drop him. Huh, that's awesome. You can see the gap in it kind of there now. Glowing lava. How much is that thing? 40 bucks. That's pretty cool. I'm not, oh, it plays the music. Put it down, Chris, put it down. <sighs> they do make some cool stuff now. All right, back to this cool stuff. What do we got over here? What we still got in these? These were all Kang the other night. Still Kang the Conqueror. I really hope I can catch this on clearance. If not, guys, I might have to keep breaking my rule of buying full price legends. And I will go ahead and save. If this or that hits clearance, I will buy another one of those to open. I really like this figure. It looks like he just jumped off the comic pages from the 90s into this bubble. The Miles looks cool too, I gotta say. I like that Miles. Not familiar with Jessica Drew. So I can't quote to her accuracy. Commander Rogers is kind of cool too. He just looks like he's mad. Like somebody should give him a hug. Anything else cool we can look at? What we got here behind these? They all Ant-Man? Well, let's just do target a solid here. There we go. It'll give me a discount for that. Uh, so we, did I say point out shipwreck? They got shipwreck. I want to find the, is it Arctic Bat that's out? Mm -hmm. oh, those down there I would like to have. They actually cleared out one of those at the Bristol Target. I can't remember which one. I think it was the Mod Rod. I think they still got the uh, Muscle Bound and they just got the Trans Ant or the Pontiac Firebird. That thing is gorgeous. Clarence in cap. Watch out. AEW stun. Looks like Miles got stung by a bee. Nyla Rose. Sometimes, everyone, if you look around, you find a. Is that. I don't think that's Clarence, is it? Okay, what do we got down here? Nothing on that one. Now let's journey down here and take a look at the die cast and wrestling figures. What do we got? Let's kind of overview it first, then we'll dive in for a deeper, closer look here on the Man Collects. My soothing, sensual voice. Let it encapsulate you as we look at the toys. Becky and AJ and those. They still got this thing. This has been peg warming, quite honestly. I kind of thought that would fly off shelves when I first saw it. I've watched AEW. I'm not familiar with Adam Cole's work. I've heard he's very good. Becky, this rock's pretty cool. What series is this? Oh, I'm going to drop him. Top picks must have superstars. Okay. I actually know. Look at that face sculpt. Looks more like Maven Huffman. AJ, brother. I got it, man. If that comes on clearance, I'll probably buy Brother Love and that Taker. 
The only thing about the taker, I'm not crazy about the face on him either. You gotta love some Undertaker. Oh, they do have the Warrior. Yeah, the Warrior's face sculpt. The Rick Rude build a figure, though. I gotta mean, I kinda like to have the Rick Rude figure. It was so cool back in the day, guys, when you, you didn't really know. The internet was kind of, it wasn't like it is today where you can go on and read about everything that's going on in wrestling or whatever else. But Rick Rude was on Raw and Nitro simultaneously at the same night because Nitro was live back in the day, WCW. And WWF Raw, which WWE now is WWF back then, was recorded. So they had, WWF was airing an episode of Raw. That, um, was recorded to have Rick Rude on it well he showed up live on Nitro that night and he had a beard on WWE he had shaved like that on WCW and that kind of told all the fans hey Raw is taped which I don't know why that matters but back in the day it was a big deal oh man that card is jacked up Lando's uh, we got some Django Fett. I'm not familiar with who that is. I apologize to my Star Wars people. What else? Still got the Dial of Destiny Indy. I like to find that Raiders of the Lost Ark one again. I passed on that thing twice now. And I passed on the Temple of Doom one like that with a sleeve off. Uh, collector's regret, everybody. Collector's regret. What else we got here? That's way too overpriced for Sean Connery's figure. No offense to Sean Connery, the late Sean, the late great Sean Connery, but 15 bucks for that small figure. Can't do it. Oh, I saw, I saw this thing last night online. The Lost World. That is cool. We're going to take a picture of that. And is this the scene where they're loading? Yeah, that's pretty cool too from Jurassic Park. I love the first two Jurassic Park movies. The Brachiosaur is pretty cool, too. Ah, what do we got here? And then we'll check out some... Oh, I didn't mean to like, completely disregard the turtles there, but I don't see anything we haven't already seen before. Oh, that one's cool. Lotus Imra. That's a cool-looking car. I probably couldn't fit in it, but it's cool-looking. Ah. Oh. I might pick this up, guys. I was wanting one of these to take off the bubble. I don't know. I might, I'd like to try to paint that thing, to be quite honest with you. But I wish the window was something how cool it would look blacked with that gold window tint. But, yeah, we're probably going to pick that up. I've got a little Dremel tool. I think I can sand it with that and get it down and then do a flat black paint on it. And then go back with some fine brushwork and do some silver on the inside there. We might do that. This supernatural thing here is awesome. And bugs with a old vet. This thing's sweet. I always enjoyed supernatural back in the day. Well, I liked it till it got to a certain point. When it first started, the first few seasons, I think it was a lot better than when it kind of got into the whole religious aspect of heaven versus hell all the time. Alright everybody, I'm going to scan these end caps. If I see anything, I'll show it to you. We're going to make sure there's not a blue beetle sitting on one of them. And if I don't see anything, I won't see you back in this section. But I will see you in Collectors. Look over the meadow. The hunter sees its prey. He slowly stalks the collectible section. We don't want to spook anything. So we walk up ever so gently. And we see what they got. I uh, still got some 3D Jasons and Part 6 and 7 Jason. Part 5 Jason. Man, it's cool to see those things come back around. Ultimate Freddy, what's that? I need to get me a Freddy figure one of these days. That's not a bad looking one there. I think I might have saw this the other night. Don't recall. Don't recall. That's the disadvantage of getting older. You can't remember crap if you don't write it down. And this is sad. I meant to bring a notepad with me to write that, like a little small steno pad to kind of jot down what I see so I do my wrap if I can remember. And I forgot my notepad. It's supposed to help me not forget things. So 
yeah i'm off to a great start today <laughs> oh i know i show this thing all the time but that figure is just awesome i got a bunch of freddies what do i do with my batmobile oh there it is well it's not mine yet so it belongs to target at this point but i will be making that purchase blue b2 pulps and that wing's cool looking we're not getting back into pops mr t and hagen but go oh they got mad wardigan all right we're gonna take a picture of mad wardigan it might be in the way oh i got a new gold label Dark Knight Returns, build a horse, painted like Joker. Let's look around here real quick and scan to make sure we don't see any more. I think it's the only one they got left versus what they got, but that is pretty cool. Always cool to see gold labels. What's everybody's opinion on these things? Good, bad, ugly. It's small way from McFarland to try to clean out some of his overstock, I guess. Which I bought some of those. I'm not sitting here complaining about them, but they had these and they didn't have Scarecrow out the other night. Have they got anything different in there now? You got Batman, Two Face. They sold the Jokers. Unless they're just nobody behind me, really. They were down in there sitting loose when I was here the last time. Looks like somebody got the Joker. And they didn't have Scarecrow out, so they've added him. The Joker eyes, I think they're going to do, they're going to do this whole wave. I mean, let's go ahead and face it. People know that because they were doing the Bane parts joker eyes as well uh, this thing this could look pretty cool i gotta admit with that joker paint because the stuff they can do with that burlap on him with the purple and the green i'm curious to see what they do with this one joker eyes that is one of the better mcfarland batman figures the bell dark knight batman they he nailed bell's face sculpt i'm gonna leave this down that's gonna the hanger's already messed up it's kind of hard to get it on there where the pegs are full Looking forward to catching this guy on clearance. Just making sure they're all Earth 2 Batman, not a, not a Blue Beetle gold label mixed in there with them. I lost my Batmobile again. Oh, there it is. All right, so we saw something new this morning. Well, new to, you know, this target that Jokerized Batman. That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing there. What we got down here on the Faithful Clearance in cap. Still got too bad. We picked up Beastman here the other night for $9.89. That was cool. And we're going to take a quick look here. Just to see what we got. Um... Got any comic cards? Shang Chi looks like it for comic book related stuff. What is this? Star Wars. All right, guys, that is going to wrap another Target adventure in Johnson City. I don't know where I'm going next. Maybe a Walmart. Maybe a Target. I don't really know. But wherever I go, I will see you at the next. Everybody, what do you say we go in Walmart here and have a little adventure? Let's see what they've got. Wasn't for sure I was going to stop here. I was just here yesterday, day before. But hey, you never know what they might have put out. So let's run in here and see what we can find. Fingers crossed they got some new superpowers. Kingsport, what do you got? We're going to kind of probably move kind of quick through this one, everybody. Because like I was just here the other day. Blitzwing, that's pretty cool. Oh, the shelf just started shaking. Uh, we got a Genghis and a um, Baxter. This is kind of cleared out, but you got some storage shelves up here. And Genghis and Baxter and Wingnut. I see his feet there. So we got some stuff up. Oh, no, there's some. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Oh, man, that's embarrassing. That's about as bad as when I found that Dennis Nedry Jurassic Park Lego set. I was going on. It didn't have the piece count on it. Well, yeah. <laughs> piece count. I had my big thumb stuck over it. And somebody pointed that out in a very nice way. I appreciate that on my video that my thumb was stuck over the front or the piece count and sure enough when i put it back on the shelf 
There it was. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Uh, let's see. Got a bunch of those little Spider-Man epic heroes up there. They had Scarlet the other morning. $20.99. Spider Gwen. Miles. Miles. Spider Punk's kind of cool. Gwen. Looks. Nope. There he is. Still got Scarlet Spider. Uh, CML to assist. I guess that's going to be Legends. I am Groot. X-Men 97. Wolvie in the mask. Oh, that's Wolvie. No Sentinel. I got a bunch of Batman Rebirth up there. Okay, look at this. It's back up to 30 bucks. Hmm. It's $19 when I was in here the other day. There's Gladiator, Future State, Future State. Future States. Uh, looks like Future States up there. And a Necrom. Not Necrom, Destorm. Oh. And he's back up too. 1997. Did they raise the prices back up? It's nice. I know I bought him here. Didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm going to have to scan that stuff, guys, and turn the camera off and see. If they are indeed more expensive now, those are all like a snot figures. What have we got down here? I'm just going to kind of pull this to the side. I'm sorry. A Razor Grimace, some wrestlers. I got Ray Mysterio Ultimate down there, I see. A Baroness. Oh, you're fine, sir. Thank you, though. There's the Adat. What else we got here with Ray? Oh, there he is. You know what? Star Wars stuff. Uh, this was on clearance. I, I know this stuff was on clearance. Why do they put the prices back up? Hmm. Oh, well, we'll scan it and see. Ooh, there's something different. We got Andre. That's cool. We got three head skulls with him. I've seen this before, but I didn't look at it very closely. Oh, what else we got down here? Two Andres, Seth, a Seth, Alexa. Okay. Oh, Andre's pretty cool. What else we got? I got a Moss Man anywhere? I don't see him. Elite 100s, Becky Lynch, Randy Orton Rock, Becky Lynch. There's regular Brock. MJS. Um, they got any of the new guys here? Macho, maybe? Nope. And we got Shipwreck Steel and Rock and Roll. And these are showing Crimson Guard and Snake Eyes too, but as you can see, there's still Lady J and Gung Ho. Uh, I got Metroid figures there. Nothing really different, guys. Okay, I'm going to kind of turn this off. We are going to scan this stuff that was on clearance the other day and see if they just took the tags off or if they're back to regular price. That's kind of, kind of got my curiosity bone itching. So let's go see what's going on. What have we got on this little clearance owl? Sure enough, guys, all that stuff that was on clearance has now been marked back up to what it was originally. So I wonder if they jumped the gun on putting out superpowers. They thought some was coming and it didn't come in or what, but it is no longer on clearance. 12.34 for Snout Spout. Vulcan's all beat up and still regular price, but... All right, yep, let's go check out some collectible section. What about they got there? Target, King Sport. All right, guys, we've been to, let's see, one, two, three places so far, and the hunt has not been fruitful. We're climbing that hunt tree. We're just not picking any fruit. So let's head into Target here in Kingsport and see if we can get the ship righted. What you got for me this morning, Target? Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Crankcase, that's kind of cool. Can't start looking at Transformers. I know they're out of the hole. I can't all oh, that ratchet. Too bad that's not like a Studio 86 or the classic ratchet. 
Uh, what do we got back there? Skull grin. Hmm. I haven't heard of that one before. That's one of the old school ones. Yeah, I don't know. Scourge, I haven't seen that before either. So I think we might be having some Transformer finds. It's not finding the other stuff the man collects is wanting to, you know, collect. There's that Grimlock. Did I see that somewhere else? There it is, closer look. I think I saw that someplace else. Let me move this transform. It's a big one. 80, 30. Oh, not too bad. That's what it looks like in the, yeah, Age of Extinction. I never watched that one. I think I saw maybe the first two Transformers. I don't think I watched any after that. Still got the big Flash Batwing. We got Blue Beetle Pose statues. We got Aqualad and Ocean Master still. The Aquaman Page Punchers. Uh, still got Signal Duke Thomas. Connell Super Boys. Wally West, Death Storm, Hazmat Batman, Future State, Armored from the Dark Knight Return, that's an old one. Duke Thomas with the Guitar Axe, a couple of Barry Allens there, the Flash Waves. Jay Garrick, Jay Garrick from the, the same Build-A-Figure Wave. Another Barry Allen, and another Barry Allen. <sighs> no gold label Blue Beetle. But we do have a crap ton of Joes. Look at the bright side. You got Rock and Roll. You got Copperhead. You got Shipwreck. Cobra. Uh, Tiger Force. Dusty. And the one that I'm really wanting. Scrap Iron. I got to pick this thing up one of these days. I'm hoping it'll still be around when the next clearance hits so we can get it then. And if he goes clearance and I find him, it's probably how I'll get Copperhead. And maybe Rock and Roll as well. This one I'll probably pass on. Even if it does hit clearance, unless it's like six bucks. I like the other Dusty better than this one. Um, we do have Calibac. Oh, they got Fulcrum Abominus too. I've been very tempted to buy that. I might scan one or both of these just to see how much they might be. I would assume they're still full price. Carapex and Calabac and Fulcrum down there. What else do we have? Yes, yes, yes. Oh man, those two packs. Once they got, yeah, they got Thor. We're going to take another look at those. I know I've looked at them a hundred times and put shorts out on them and everything else, but still. Marvel Legends is calling to me more than McFarlane is really lately. And that thing, these usually always hit clearance, these Epic Hero stuff. If it does, I will get this just for that Ultron figure. And these appear the same thing. If it's Iron Man and Thor. I wish the Thor hammer didn't look so stupid, though. Oh, they got Venom. That little Venom figure is awesome. I am very glad to pick that up. Does they, I wonder if they made a carnage in this. I had to get Spidey eventually. And then this Doc Ock is pretty cool, too. And for the most part, you know, they're affordable. 11 bucks, 18 bucks for that. And there's these little figures. They got Scarlet Spider. He seems to be showing up again lately. Spider Punk. You don't see him that often. I could put the camera up there so you can actually see what I'm looking at. Um, what have we got here? We got Doom and Captain Marvel. We got the Super Scroll and the Scroll Queen. Two more Dooms and Captain Marvels. This one. Hawkeye with the Sky Cycle. I will... As I keep saying this all the time. This will more than likely be a purchase. Oh, guys, I can't remember who it was. Man, which YouTuber found these were on clearance at Walmart for not... Oh, he disavowed action figures. He found this entire wave on clearance at Walmart. It was $19, but still $5 off. I would definitely get that and that if they were clearanced. Uh oh, Spider Man's trying to get me. There is Iron Man. Somebody put a little Thor down here, so we're gonna be nice and we're gonna put him back where he goes. And then we got Banner and Grey Hulk, and then this one. I really, really want that one. This for I want that 90s Thor, what has the eye guard on it. 
right there, that head sculpt. That's the Eric Masterson Thor from the 90s when I first started reading Thor comics. Uh, I'll drop my phone, guys. Sorry. Got some more Hawkeyes there. What we got over here? Those two packs are everywhere right now in my target stools. They don't seem to be moving. Oh, there's Brody Lee. Very sad what happened to him, man. Got the TNT title. Very sad that he passed. Now the Rose, the Murder Hawk guy, Lance Archer. Okay, there's another Andre. We just saw him. We saw Seth as well, then Eddie and Ray at the last Walmart. Bunch of brother loves the Rock. And they got the ad at. Mission to Micro Galaxy Squadron, which it is called. And we have my favorite Star Wars character's name to say, Cassian Andor. The name is Andor, Cassian Andor. I'm here to do things that only Cassian Andor would do. <laughs> okay. You got Whiplash there, Masterverse. Oh, they got some different ones here. I haven't seen them a lot. I think I might have saw this last time. I don't remember. Masterverse Jitsu. It looks like Mr. T. And then we got Sun Man. Who's there? Hero. I saw that one time before. Another Sun Man. Let's take a look at Hero. That's pretty cool. Oh, look here. Henry Jones was $14.99. Now $11.99. They've already marked that thing down. I think they fixed the blue on these. That's pretty secure, yep. Holy crap, they got a short round. I don't think I've seen this. We're going to take a picture of short round. Let's get him in a shot. I can always crop the picture and make it look a little better. That's pretty cool. Indy, Indy. Huh, Indy's hat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Marion, they don't have a Indiana Jones, do they? Nope, Helena, Helena, Sawa, and Marion. We'll put short round there on the front. I bet you that'll be gone today. That seems to be one everyone's looking for. Hmm, somebody's find a Black Panther and Spider Man over there. I wonder what they're talking about. That thing's cool. The Gigantotosaurus. Any dinosaurs that make noise up here? What's this one do? Indominus Rex. Oh, that's the bad one from the first Jurassic World, isn't it? Whoa. He lights up and he yells. Let's do that again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's understandable why these dinosaur toys sound so angry. You have to grab their butts and just torque them to get them to do anything. Understand, buddy. Someone grab by the hiney and twist it like that. I'd scream too. I like that thing. That reminds me of the one when I was a kid. That'd be a clearance find. Hopefully, one of these days. I don't like a sore dreadnoughtosaurus. Hmm. No. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head to the next aisle over here. Let's see if we got some decast. I got our turtle stuff there. They have, I don't know if they restocked this last time I was here or not, but they have got a restock there on the Mutant Mayhem. Oh my God, she's bringing a huge cart of toys. <sighs> this lady seems really nice. If I see a McFarlane box on there, I might see if she lets me open it. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh no, I was trying to scan what boxes you might have on there. Oh, I don't have anything. <laughs> Okay, thank you. That's all out. Aww. But hey, at least you told me. <sighs> and they got both these nano scenes here. I think I actually, I need to go back and see. I think with well, another Jurassic Park, 30 bucks here, I think. I think it might be a little bit less here, but Target, but I would have got 5% off, but I'm rambling. I need to hush. Whoa. Now that is cool. Gal. That's my favorite character on Street Fighter 2 back in the day. I really hope Jada 
when it's just straight, it makes his figure in that little way they're doing now with Ryu and Chun Li and Fei Long. And there's Chun Li, 20 bucks for these. I don't think 20 bucks is bad for a diecast truck that size. That's pretty sweet. We're taking a picture of that. That's tempting. I'm not going to lie. We're going to put that back for now. You, you might end up seeing that again in the video. Oh, that's cool, too. The, I think I might have seen that before. The, no, I saw Winter Soldier. He had one. Falcon's cool there. 57 Chevy. Is that Falcon or is that... Yeah, he's not Captain America there, is he? And what we got here behind me? Pokemon. Eh. Oh, they do have a cool Sonic Prime thing here. I don't remember seeing this at the other store. A little battle or pirate ship there. There's Bowser. And they got the figures up there, about the same compliment. They do have more of these Sonic Primes here. Same ones though. Sonic and Mr. Dr. Eggman. So yeah, I mean, this target's kinda redeemed the hunt a little bit. The Wolverine Claw up there is the only thing they got. I haven't already been seeing. It must be Target exclusive. I'm not seeing that anywhere else. It is 70 bucks though, so we're going to shy away from that for a little bit. Let me see if the price comes down anyways. All right, should be one more clearance in cap up here. Let's go have a look at what's on it. Here is one of them. Uh, not seeing anything too appealing. And there's another one. It's got mostly summer water toys on it. Same thing with those two up there. So, yep, that's going to do it for the main toy aisle. We're going to walk across the way over there and hit collectors and see what we can find there. Let's go into Walmart here in Kingsport. Walmart number two in Kingsport. The hunt so far today has been a little lackluster, guys. Let's hope this one can pull it out. Now, last week, this is where I found my Moss Man. So maybe we'll find some of the new G.I. Joes or something in here. But let's go in here and check it out. And we're going to begin the Ballad of the Man Collects toy hunt over here with Transformers. Oh man, I'm gonna lose subscribers over that. I gotta quit doing crap like that. Holy crap, it's Turbo Man. <laughs> Where did they dust these off at? I will have to scan that to see how much it costs. I haven't seen those. Man, it's been a while. There's Baxter, Genghis, Baxter, Baxter, Genghis. Down in here, we got a Genghis. Oh, sorry, Bebop. And a Krang. So we got some Resto Tuttles. We got some new legends stuck up here. Marvel Boy and Miss Marvel and some turtles back there as well. Looks like a wing nut and a screw loose. Uh, let's just set that there. Make sure we don't have a new Rat King stuck up there. Nope, all wing nut and screw loose. I can't tell if there's anything behind it. I think we got a Genghis here. Any more turtles up there? There's all kinds of turtles. I think I'm down on the shelf. I guess they haven't came back and redid the stuff yet. They still got that Batman set down here. Nope, they finally moved it. Put Marvel Boy back up there where he was. There's more Turbo Man. One, two, three, four, six Turtle Turbo Mans. Hard to believe. No problem. Transformers. Some more turtles. Genghis store shells. Baxters. Genghises. Spider Man. Spider Man knocked that one off. We'll help him out there. Ooh, movie turtle. There's a movie star raft. Pretty cool. Okay. What else we got? Oh, we got Spider-Man card at Legend. I we'll have to scan these. I saw Disavowed last night. He found these things for clearance. They were nineteen dollars, but still they were clearance. Electra, Ben Riley. I'd like to have Chasm. I'd like to have this one as well. Lady Daredevil. Um, I'd like to have one of these take off card. And this one. I'm not familiar with the chasm. 
it just looks awesome. And it's been rally. So this is been rally. It must have went bad for a while. That sounds like gonna be an interesting story then. Crossfire, King, they got Extremis Iron Man, a Molecule Man. Uh, X Men 97. Dinosaurs. There's some Shazam up there and a Captain Atom on the top. A bunch of old superpowers. Uh, Shazams are not gold labels, but I can't remember where that gold label might have been exclusive to. That one's an older one. There's Armored Batman, Dark Knight Returns. Wish they had a blue variant. I've got one of those. Mine's a feet of crap. And we got Captain Adam, Shazam, oh, Vampire Superman. Got the bat wings. They're still showing full price here. I wonder if they've recalled the clearance on those. All Captain Adams. Oh, and here are the Vampire Superman. One, two... They're still showing 1997 with him and Adam here. And they got some Aquaman page punchers back there. Oh, got it. <laughs> that was smooth, wasn't it? And Blackest Night. So they got a bunch of Superman there, but still they're $19 here. Apparently they haven't hit the clearance yet. What have we got here? Yeah, those are all the older superpowers. My buddy's still $19 here. Uh, not showing clearance on Dungeons and Dragons there. Hey, they got Supergirl. Yeah, you don't see her all the time. Got some more page punchers up there. And another Captain Atom. And older superpowers. So let's make our way down to the next stuff. We got our usual compliment Spin Master stuff there from Batman. I actually recorded a short of that one yesterday. I'm going to post it probably today. Well, Saturday. As you're watching this video, it's going to be Monday. Um, I saw some... Oh, they have to Republic, the Imperial Shuttle. It's right part Republic gunship. That thing's pretty cool. You can feel just put a little video about this up. Looks neat. What are the $29 for that thing? Oh, Rey Mysterio. There's a bunch of WWE elites. We'll check those out here in a second. Uh, some more Batman stuff. I got the Killer Croc Spin Master 2 pack up there. That will be a purchase at some point. We've got a Ray, Seth Rollins, Rollins 2, 3 Andres at least. Maybe some more. Austin Undertaker. This Andre figure is awesome. I don't buy elites, but if I did, I'd probably buy Andre. Seth Rollins, what we got down here in all these? Oh, another Andre Ultimate Warrior. Andre is pretty sweet. Warrior's a good one too. He doesn't come with a title belt. It's kind of like Bret Hart's last one. Now let's just stick Ray there as well with those guys uh, what else we got down through here yeah. another imperial is that an imperial shuttle can't tell what it's a pair of the ad was here somewhere oh there it is i got two of them um nothing else different down through here they've got the point dread and talon fighter still got a um, storm shadow there. Any new ones in these? No. Simold, simold. We'll take a look at the video game stuff behind us here in a minute. I got the new Mario figures there. I see Peach in that racing uniform. You got the three pack with Superman, Dark Side, and Batman. Uh, they got the Sonic, the Hedgehog figures, Mario's, that's Lemmy. Lemmy's pretty cool. 
Uh, Fortnite's nothing too sexy and exciting, guys. There's a Wolverine instead of his claws laying there. Don't see anything else hidden up top. This is one store if you come to. You gotta check up top because they keep it, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff on top. I couldn't get in here very good a second ago. Let's just kind of scan this again just to make sure I didn't overlook something. We're gonna scan this stuff because. I think it's weird. I, I know I did see the, I think the Johnson City Walmart I went to this morning. Did have that for nineteen fifty. It went back up at Kingsport. They raised it back to twenty nine dollars from nineteen dollars. So I wonder if they're taking those off clearance. Maybe they had them on clearance, thinking they were going to get rid of all of them, and then something happened. The new stock's not going to come in for a while. I don't know. But anyways, I've been rambling on for eight minutes. I don't see anything that I missed up through here. Oh, we're going to scan Turbo Man too. I got to see how much Turbo Man is. But let's get off and scan some stuff here, and I'll see you here in a second. Uh, Captain Adam. Okay, scanning update. Turbo Man. I can't say it in Arnie's voice. Sorry, I can't do a very good Arnold impersonation. Turbo Man. Uh, that's not good either. Anyways, he's 25 bucks. He's still the same price he was when he went on clearance in stores. I don't think that was last year. I think it was year before last. That's before I started doing YouTube. And we scanned our usual complement here. Um, all the the golden labels are 1250 superman and captain adam are 1250 the these the batwing and the supermobile are 30 they're not on clearance the superpowers are 10 dollars each they're not on clearance but yeah they don't have them marked but again if you're in a market for these they got a buttload of captain adams and a good stock of superman as well on the gold labels here at the west stone drive in kingsport tennessee walmart but yeah just wanted to update on those scans but if i see anything else i'll show it to you if not, I'll see you at the next. Let's have us a look at diecast here and see what we got. And they didn't have scrap iron over. I think I forgot to mention that. So it's kind of cool to see that. Ooh, the Dodge Challenger there is pretty sweet. M2. And what is this? Johnny Lightning. Oh, it's an old Godzilla Army Jeep. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty neat. This is kind of a full peg. We're gonna hang him right there until we can see what else they got. Monopoly truck. That's pretty nice as well. BNX team, speed racer, speed racer. I haven't seen the little there's another one. I haven't seen those little Jeeps before. That's another neat. We got Trivial Pursuit. United States Postal Pony Cars. I don't really get that. I've never seen those. Another one of the Godzilla Jeeps. Um, let's just scan this quickly. The same Batman stuff. We've been seeing that forever. We've already got all the we wanted. They do have the Batman and Robin bat cycle, though, that we couldn't find forever. What do they got up here? A lot of stuff up top. I'm just kind of skipping over. Do they have the Super or Superman the Batman poly bag? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there it is. DC. Can't really say they don't have them, but they do. In droves. We're just hoping for a last restock of those Warner Brother 100 year cars. But no dice. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this Walmart. We're going to go back and check collector section here, but they have a very, very small one. If I do see anything in it, of course I'll show it to you. If I don't, I don't know if I'm going anywhere else or not, to be quite honest with you. It's kind of a disappointing hunt day. I feel like I could try to find some more stuff, but. If I do go someplace, you'll see me there. If not, you'll see me for the wrap up. That's it, guys. That's the weekend hunt. Uh, saw some stuff this weekend, a little bit slower than previous weekends. Hoping to find the gold label blue beetle, Target exclusive McFarland. Came up empty again, guys. That little sucker is proving to be a harder find than I thought he was going to be. Also, looking to see Superman Doomsday on the shelf. I've seen that in one store, and it was off camera. The Target in Bristol had it there at one point, but that's the only place I've seen that thing in the store yet. I already got that. don't want another one, but still, want to see it in the store. Hoping to also see the Batwing, Two Faces, Batman, Nightfall, Batman, stuff like that. Didn't see hardly any of that stuff. Uh, did see the gold labels again, Superman and Cat Vampire Superman and Captain Adam, both on clearance. You know, for twelve fifty already in some stores. Uh, the freakiest thing I saw today was the Batwing from Superpowers and the Supermobile were on clearance the other day, especially at Kingsport Walmart, the one on Fort Henry, the Walmart number one in Kingsport. 
you saw me at this video is $19 there the other day and it's back up now to 30. And I even asked the guy back in the toy section, he said he didn't know if it hit clearance, but said it's obviously not clearance now. He even scanned it, his little in-store thingy and it's showing again, 30 bucks. And the D&D &D stuff back up to full price. The Batman, the one I bought, the Spin Master, that 12 inch one that talks, um, he's back to full price. So they had them on clearance, now they're back off clearance. Don't, don't get that, but still cool to see some stuff on the shelf. I'm trying to think of new stuff I saw today. The biggest thing I saw today were WWE Ultimates. We saw Seth Rollins, Rey Mysterio, Guerrero, and the Andre the Giant. I had seen him before in Target, but still cool to see WWE Ultimate Andre. I love Andre. Anybody's a wrestling fan from back in the day, you gotta have love for Andre the Giant. So it's cool to see his figures out and about. Um, we saw Moss Man, trying to think of what Walmart I saw him in. I think it was Johnson City. I can't remember. But you saw Moss Man in the video again. We saw him. That thing, is it overpriced? Yes. I paid 40 bucks for it. I got that thing last week. So I can't say too much, but it's awesome. I mean, it's vintage. It's uh, nostalgia. It's cool. Like I said, I'm sure it probably still smells like a pine tree air freshener. If you take it out of the box and smell the thing. So that's always cool to see. I saw some cool diecast today as well. Um, those little uh, Japanese Godzilla Jeeps, those little army Jeeps. That was pretty cool. If you had a God, I don't know what scale Godzilla figures they make. I just don't have any. I, don't, I like Godzilla. I need to get some of those. But it would be cool to get like four or five of those Jeeps. Maybe some get some little tanks that will scale with a Godzilla figure. Now, if anybody knows a Godzilla figure that scales well with Hot Wheels sized cars, you know, let me know in the comments. I'll have to give it a look, see if I can find one. Don't care if it's new style, old style, whatever. I like about all the Godzilla movies, so I'm not too picky about that. Oh, uh, what else have we seen today in the Walmarts? Okay, old stock returning to Walmart and looking beaten up. Turbo Man. I have not seen Turbo Man. I don't think it was the last Christmas that was so popular. I thought it was a Christmas before last. I really can't remember, but I had like six Turbo Man figures at that King Sport, the number, King Sport number two Walmart. But they were $25, I scanned them. That was the clearance price they were at when they went off shelves last time. But we found those today, and then at uh, Brown's Mill the other day, Walmart in Johnson City, we found those old G.I. Joe classifieds. And now the turbo men they had, the boxes were kind of beat up. So it makes me think they found an old stock of those somewhere. Like I said, somebody could have hid some throughout the store, who knows. And a lot of these Walmarts in my area, they are doing like some renovations on the insides. So maybe they found the things, I don't know. But. Um, other exciting things we saw short round Indiana Jones Kingsport target we saw him there the little well, it's a six inch figure line I doubt he's six inches but like I said we found short round I think that's the first time I've seen him um, I haven't seen a good Indiana Jones I found that Raiders of the Lost Ark one I think that was the I can't remember when, when the video was I found that thing but I found it back in the card section in the Johnson City Target, didn't pick it. I haven't seen it since. I've only seen the Temple of Doom where he's got one sleeve missing, the six inch of that once, and it was kind of beaten up when I found it on the shelf. So maybe I found it twice. I can't remember how many times I find stuff. It's hard to keep it all straight. But like I said, as far as good news stuff today, sorry guys, I couldn't show you a whole lot, but hey, one good thing, you do see a lot of clearance items. I know the Walmart in Kingsport, they had a huge uh, pallet of stock boxes they were stocking while I was in there. I actually just went in the home base Walmart here, but I didn't record because there was nothing in there. But they're stocking as well. I may hit this one again later today. It's Saturday as I'm recording this. I may go come back in here later this afternoon and see if they got all that stock put up. But uh, we'll see what they get. Right, so let's get to the haul. Did pick up a couple of things, nothing too sexy and exciting. But at the first, uh, I don't know if I got this at Target or Walmart actually, but whatever store you saw me with that, I did pick that up. Now, I've already got one of these. Um, this one I got. I'm going to take a little grinder. I want to sand this thing down to bare metal. Uh, I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll do it eventually. And I'm going to try my hand at customizing this thing into a black, a flat black 89 Batmobile. But again, that'll be coming here soon. The only thing that won't be accurate is the orange windows. We'll see how that looks once I get it painted. And again, that might be two years for I paint the thing. Who knows? But hey, whenever I do paint it, I might record the process and make a video out of it if it turns out decent. It looks like crap. I'll probably never admit that I did it, but <laughs> I did pick up the Batmobile. My next pickup, and it's all a die-cast theme today, guys. I did get that um, Godzilla Jeep there. It's just too cool to leave on the shelf. And look at the car, the old classic Godzilla and the characters. Couldn't leave that on the shelf. They had about four or five of these at Walmart, so it's pretty cool to see these things. Uh, the Johnny Lightning car is usually pretty nice. You can see on the back there some more they got coming out. It's like a Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. What else they got? Captain Terror's car. That's pretty cool. Then a Chevy two-door wagon, Chevy Corvette, Ford Delivery, a Pontiac Firebird TA. 
I would probably grab that if I could find it just because it does look like a Smokey and the Bandit. But, you know, cool to see this thing. It's again, Godzilla is pretty cool. So if I could find something to scale with this, it'd be kind of cool to get it to put with it. But that is it for my pickups today, guys. I haven't got any online stuff in. I still got some pre-orders that are still hanging out there that haven't been filled yet, but hope you enjoyed the video. I did go on some usual plugs. Um, as I learned on General Kenobi's uh, po uh, live stream last week when I was on it, there is a fellow YouTuber that has a GoFundMe set up for some emergency medical bills that she's had come in, uh, Bader's Girl. I'll have the information for that. It'll be in the description of the video. I can put the link on the screen here, but I don't know how to hyperlink that to where you can actually click it and it does something in the video. So check my description. You can find the information there. If you, anyone who can give or wants to give to that GoFundMe for a fellow YouTuber in need. Ah, I almost forgot. August 26th, that's coming up. It'll be coming up here soon. Pipeville, Kentucky at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. The Pipeville uh, Toy and Comic Convention is going to be coming there. Again, guys, I checked it again last night. Eric Bischoff is still on the docket to be there. So we're going to hope he shows up there and we get to go there and meet him and get my figures autographed and hopefully find some cool stuff at that show. The last show I went to was the uh, Fanboy Expo, and I was a little disappointed in the in the you know the vendors there at Fanboy Expo. So hopefully, Pipeville, you can redeem that stuff and renew my spirit for the convention season because we do have a bunch coming up. You know that's the first one. There's a bunch more coming up in the fall of the year and into the winter that I plan on going to as well. Uh, my normal plugs. If you're not following the Man Collects on Instagram, you should see information somewhere around in here. Will you find Man Collects on Instagram? Find him, follow him, see what I post on there. And as usual, everyone, if you are a first-time viewer to this beautiful YouTube content, or you've come back several times and have yet committed to click subscribe, consider clicking subscribe and see what is coming down the pipe on this YouTube channel. But with all that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up kind of quick this time. Uh, thank you for watching. It'll be Monday when you're watching this. I hope you had a great weekend. Hope your week's getting started right. And I will see you at the next one.